Hey everyone, my quick tip for today is how to create a mask, basically how to peer through one object and see another. All I've got on my timeline right now is this uh, uh, video file of a flame just being super cool. And we're going to peek through a piece of text to kind of have a flame in the background sort of thing going on. So in annotations, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bypass a lot. I'm going to bypass the text only stuff. And I want this text box here. And you'll see why in a second. I'm going to stretch this out to match my flame clip, make sure that they're the same length of my timeline. And another caveat is I'm going to select a font that's super thick. I'm going to go with Arial Black, and I'm going to make it quite large. Let's go with something like 400, so that way the mask works. Uh, maybe I don't like the white background, so I'm going to change it to black. And the font color doesn't really matter too much just yet. I'm going to also ditch the uh, outline as well. And we're going to expand this to be as big as our canvas. And I like to expand it just a little bit beyond the size of the canvas because these do have rounded corners generally. And so I'm going to change this from ABC to something like this is a mask. Now the trick here is I'm going to select my text and I'm going to change the color of the text to something bright, really, really bright. Uh, green works. It's probably why green screens uh, generally operate with green. Now, the key step here is under visual effects, I'm going to choose remove a color and drag it down to this item. I'm going to go over to the color that I want to remove. And instead of this chroma key green that by default is removed, I'm going to click it, use my eyedropper selector tool, and click this sort of minty green that we've changed our text to. And when I remove that color, you may have to do this more than once, not uncommon. There we go. And we do have a little bit of uh, edging here, which I don't like. So you can adjust some of these parameters as well. Defringe is the uh, thing you're wanting to do. Defringe around the edge there. That looks good to me. We'll go ahead and refit this. And now we have a cool text mask. Let's see what this plays out like. Nice. My frames are dropping. That's OK. But when it renders, it should render smoothly just like this. And you can do this for all sorts of cool backgrounds. But that's how you create a quick mask in Camtasia.